Battle of the Brains, presented by Virginia 529, Central Virginia's ultimate high school academic quiz show. Today's match features Ocean Lakes High School versus Hermitage High School. Let the battle begin. Hello and welcome to Battle of the Brains, Central Virginia's longest running high school academic quiz show. I'm Cheryl Miller. Our competition welcomes teams from schools all across the Commonwealth of Virginia. Our academic athletes joining us today are the Dolphins of Ocean Lakes High School, coached by Miranda Blazer. Ocean Lakes High School is a public high school in Virginia Beach. With about 2,000 students, it's home to an advanced academic program, the Math and Science Academy, which was started almost 30 years ago. It was the first of several magnet programs in Virginia Beach schools. Also with us today, the Panthers of Hermitage High School, coached by Jordan Chapman. Hermitage High School is located in Henrico County and is home to about 1,600 students. The school is also home to the Advanced Career Education Center at Hermitage. A big welcome to our students. Great to have them here with us today to play Battle of the Brains. Our match will consist of three toss-up rounds and a category round. Players will buzz in and wait for me to call on them before answering. Any interruption of questions with an incorrect answer will result in a point deduction, but there is no deduction for an incorrect answer to a completed question. All right, students, good luck. Let's start the first toss-up round. What, according to author J.K. Rowling, was the, what is the only village in Britain settled entirely by magical beings? Mylin. Hogwarts. That is incorrect. Hermitage? Blake? Ho Hogsmeade. Hogsmeade is correct. What kind, what kind of year does six trillion miles equal? Samuel. A light year. Correct. What is the seven letter term for any conic section formed by a cutting plane inclined to the base but not passing through it? Mylin. Ellipse. That is correct. The U.S. Embassy in Israel was recently moved to Jerusalem from which city? Samuel. Tel Aviv. Correct. Freddie Mercury was the front man for which legendary English? Molly. Queen. That is correct. Rock band. Located between Java and Sumatra, what was the name of the volcano that exploded? Samuel. Krakatoa. Correct. In 1883, killing over 36,000 people. What noble gas was used in early laser pumps is located between... Aylin. Neon. That is incorrect. I'll finish for Hermitage. Is located between Krypton and Radon on the periodic table and has an atomic symbol XE. Blake. Xenon. Correct. In professional football, how many points are awarded for a safety? Kashuk. Two points. That's correct. The 13th Amendment to the U.S. Constitution abolished what practice? Samuel. Slavery. That is correct. According to legend, this 4th century bishop of Myra assaulted Arius at 325 AD Council of Nicaea. He is known in Holland as Sinterklaus. Name this patron saint of Russia, Samuel. Saint Nicholas. That is correct, who liked to give gifts. All right, you might need your pencil and paper for this one. Find the integral of the expression 4x cubed minus 8x. Melin. X to the fourth minus 4x squared plus C. That is correct. All right, teams, watch the screen and listen carefully. Here's a Virginia-based video question from a member of the Battle of the Brains Brainy Bunch. You must wait until the question is completed before you buzz in. Standing as a sentry for the Chesapeake Bay and located near First Landing State Park, what lighthouse was the first public works project in the United States? <laughs> Melin. The Cape Henry Lighthouse. That is correct. What long running annual seven day television event featured Mike Tyson versus Jaws in 2020? Samuel. Shark Week. That is correct. Name the abolitionist who gained national fame for leading an 1859 revolt at Harper's Ferry. Melin. John Brown. Correct. Here in Virginia. What is the name of the bosun believed to give all matter its mass? The Higgs Kashuk. boson. That is correct. The Higgs. What NFL Hall of Famer for the New York Giants is the host of the $100,000 Pyramid Primetime Game Show? That would be Michael Strahan. You may need your pencil and paper. 
Of the following numbers, which has the greatest value? 1 half to the fourth, square root of 5, 7 over 3, or 2.324? Fatima. 25. That is incorrect. Ocean Lakes? Malin? Uh, square root of 5. It's actually 7 over 3. And that buzzer means our first toss-up round is over. Good job by our teams. Up next, we'll meet our players, and then they'll take on the category round when Battle of the Brains continues. Battle of the Brains is always available. Find full episodes on YouTube and follow along with Battle of the Brains on social media. Welcome back to Battle of the Brains. Here are the scores following the first toss-up round here on Battle of the Brains. Our team from Ocean Lakes High School with 110 points. Our team from Hermitage High School with 30 points. And we'll get back to our match and more questions just ahead. But first, let's introduce you to today's players. First, our team from Ocean Lakes High School. They are the Dolphins. Their coach is Miranda Blazer. First up is Austin Mao, who is a senior who plans to study biochemistry or computer science. He does math and science competitions and enjoys science and history. Next up is Kaushik Tata, who is in the 11th grade, a member of the Chamber Orchestra at school, the Math Honor Society, and Scholastic Bowl. And he says he reads an unhealthy amount of Wikipedia. <laughs> I think we're doing the same thing. All right, our next, our captain actually is Maylin Runjan, who is a senior. He enjoys playing the piano, likes tennis and badminton, and plans to study physics or biology. And wrapping up our Ocean Lakes team is Samuel Kidd, who is a senior and a member of the Ocean Lakes High School Orchestra, enjoys singing and mathematics, and wants to study aerospace engineering. That is our team from Ocean Lakes High School. Now let's meet our team from Hermitage High School. They are the Panthers. Their coach is Jordan Chapman. First up on our team is Sophie Curtis. Sophie is a sophomore who enjoys reading, music, and plays flute in the band and plans to major in linguistics. Our team captain is Molly Meadows, who is a sophomore who likes gardening and enjoys reading and would like to study psychology in college. Next up is Fatima Ibrahim, who is a sophomore in the debate and speech clubs, is interested in pursuing something in the medical field, and she told me she's always late for her team's practice for Battle of the Brains. And wrapping up the team is Blake Bartlett, who is a sophomore who enjoys reading, experimenting, and learning, and would like to become an engineer. That's our team from Hermitage High School. Now, our category round for our teams. Each team will select one 10 question category from today's choices. If a team gets all of its questions correct in the allotted time, they will receive a 20 point bonus. Teams, take a look here at the categories from which you may choose. They are begins and ends with T, explorers, and literary potpourri. Mylin, talk it over with teammates. Let me know what you'd like to play. Explorers. Yeah. Um, we'll go with explorers. All right, identify each of the following explorers from these clues. Viking who first colonized Leif Greenland. Leif Erikson. That is incorrect. It's Eric the Red. Italian who sailed the ocean blue in 1492. Christopher Columbus. Correct. Discovered New York in 1524 and has a bridge named after him. Hudson. That would be Verrazano. Searched for the seven cities of Cibola. Cortez be Francisco de Coronado. Founded Quebec in 1608. Lawrence. That would be Samuel Champlain. He established a colony on Roanoke Island. Raleigh. Walter Raleigh is correct. English explorer who sailed for the Dutch and has a river named for him. Hudson. Henry Hudson, correct. Overthrew Montezuma and the Aztecs. Cortez. That is Cortez. He opened up the Wilderness Road in 1775. Yeah. Boone. Correct, Daniel Boone. And finally, Venetian explorer who traveled through Asia on the Silk Road. Mark, Marco Polo. Uh, that is correct. Good job on that category. You know your explorers. All right, Hermitage. It will either be begins and ends with T or literary potpourri. Molly, what would you and your team like to play? Uh, begins and ends with T. 
All right, give, I will give you the number of letters and a definition. Identify each of these words that begins and ends with the letter T. The first is seven letters, sine over cosine. Tangent. Correct. Seven letters, brass musical instrument. Trumpet. Correct. Six letters, despotic ruler. Tyrant. Correct. Ten letters, written copy of proceedings. Tenement. That would be transcript. Five letters, homeland of the Dalai Lama. Tibet. Correct. Twelve letters, determine the problem with. Pass. That would be troubleshoot. Five letters, good eating fish. Trout. Correct. Four letters, tightly drawn. Taught. Correct. Four letters, a civil offense. Pass. That would be a tort. And finally, 11 letters, weapon of the god Zeus. Thunderbolt. That is correct. Good job by Hermitage on their category in the category round. Up next, another toss-up round when Battle of the Brains comes back. Stay with us. Miss a week of Battle of the Brains? Or want to catch up on a full season of Battle Gameplay? Find full episodes on our YouTube channel. Welcome back to Battle of the Brains. Here are the scores following the category round here on Battle of the Brains. Our team from Ocean Lakes High School with 140 points. Our Hermitage High School team, 65 points. And now it's back to Battle of the Brains in another toss-up round. And just a reminder for our teams, you do lose points if you interrupt a question with an incorrect answer. The other team will then have the chance to answer. There's no conferring in the toss-up rounds. All right, teams, here we go. In ancient Egypt, what was the name of the marsh plant that was used for boats, wine, cloth, Justin, I mean Austin? Uh, <coughs> papyrus. That is correct, and a paper-like writing material. Salvador Dali wrote that this art movement was to be more, Melin. Surrealism. That is correct. More and more identified with him and him only is what he said. A bill adding the words under God to the Pledge of Allegiance was signed into law by which president? Samuel. Eisenhower. Correct, in 1954. There are currently how many justices on the U.S. Supreme Court? Austin. Nine. Correct. Which former U.S. president sold his own brand of steaks, calling them the world's greatest? Melin. Taft. That is incorrect. Hermitage? It's actually Donald Trump. He launched them in 2007 and sold them exclusively through QVC and Sharper Image. In mathematics, what law states A plus B equals B plus A? Melin. The commutative property. I need you to be more specific. The commutative property of addition. That is correct. It can occur as early as February 4th or as late as March 10th of any given year. It takes place 46 days before Easter. What is this two-word term for the first day of Lent? Fatima. That is correct. Bruno Hauptmann was found guilty of first-degree murder in the 1932 kidnapping and death of what famous aviators? Maylin. Charles Lindbergh. That is correct, his son. What was the family name of Juliet in Shakespeare's Romeo and Juliet? Molly. Capulet. Correct. It is a sleep disorder that occurs when the brain cannot regulate the sleep cycles. What is this 10-letter word? Samuel. Insomnia. That is incorrect. Hermitage? We were looking for narcolepsy. Jason studied extra hard so he would be spared the embarrassment of not receiving his driver's license. Spell embarrassment. Austin. E-M-B-A-R-R-A-S-M-E-N-T. That is incorrect. Molly? E-M-B-A-R-A-S-S-M-E-N-T. That is incorrect. Austin forgot an S, you forgot an R. It's E-M-B-A-R-R-A-S-S-M-E-N-T. 
In his 1874 essay, Compensation, he wrote, for everything you have missed, you have gained something else, and for everything you gain, you lose something else. Name this poet, essayist, and lecturer who helped initiate New England transcendentalism. Samuel. Thoreau. That is incorrect. Hermitage? It was Ralph Waldo Emerson. All right, teams, watch the screen. Listen carefully. Here's another Virginia-based video question from a member of the Battle of the Brains Brainy Bunch. And again, wait for the question to be completed before buzzing in. Another question from the Virginia Museum of Transportation in Roanoke, Virginia. Prior to being phased out by diesel and electricity, steam engines were powered by what kind of fuel? Samuel. Coal. Coal is correct. What are the optical instruments that can be reflecting or refracting and are used to observe Samuel? Telescopes. Correct. Observe distant stars. Introduced by Edward Jenner, inoculations for this disease. Maylin. Smallpox. Correct. Were halted in 1972 and in 1979, the World Health Organization declared it to be totally eliminated. A bellwether is the leading sheep of a flock. Spell bellwether. Molly. B-E-L-L-W-E-A-T-H-E-R. That is incorrect. Ocean Lakes. Melin. E-E-L-L-W-E-T-H-E-R. That is correct. And that buzzer means one more toss-up round to go, and we'll double the point value for our teams for a correct answer. Stay tuned to see which of our teams is today's winner and continues on in the competition on Battle of the Brains. Love Battle of the Brains? Ready for your high school team to play next season? Get in touch. Go to battleofthebrains.net to learn more. Welcome back to Battle of the Brains. Here are the scores now as we head into the final round this morning on Battle of the Brains. Ocean Lakes High School with 240 points, Hermitage High School with 85 points. For this final toss-up round, the point score for a correct answer is now doubled, but so is the penalty for an incorrect answer given before I finish reading the question. There is no deduction for an incorrect answer to a completed question. All right, teams, good luck. This is our final toss-up round. Formed by a Colorado River flood, what sea is the largest body of water? Samuel. The Salton Sea. Correct, in the state of California. Civic, Accord, and Pilot are models produced by what automaker? Maylin. Honda. Correct. These organisms are characterized by enucleated red blood cells, three ossicles, and presence of sweat glands and a lower jaw hinged directly to the skull. Name this taxonomic class that contains whales and humans. Maylin. Animals. That is incorrect. Hermitage. Lake. Mammals. Mammals is correct. Which one of golf's four major tournaments is played outside the United States? Austin. PGA. That is incorrect. Hermitage? It would be the Open, or we call it the British Open. It's the oldest golf tournament in the world, started in 1860. The October Revolution, which resulted in the seizure of power by the Bolsheviks, occurred in what year? Austin. Uh, 1917. Correct. What is the only National Football League team whose name is taken from a specific year? Maylin. The 49ers. Correct. The San Francisco 49ers named for the 1849 California Gold Rush. What is the longitude of Greenwich, England? Samuel. Zero degrees. Correct. Tiziano Vesilio is an old master of the Venetian school. His works include the Assumption of the Virgin. The name by which he is best known resulted from the name of the brownish orange pigment that he frequently uses in his paintings. What is this name? Sophie. Titian? Titian is correct. In September of 2019, the Dallas Cowboys made what player the highest paid running back in pro history only to release him in 2023? Molly. Tony Romo. That is incorrect. Ocean Lakes. 
That would be Ezekiel Elliott. On what fictional island led by King Moon Racer would you find a Charlie in a box? Samuel. The Isle of the Misfit Toys. That is correct. The Tron Light Cycle is the newest addition to what land at Walt Disney World's Magic Kingdom? Lake. Disneyland. That is incorrect. Ocean Lakes? That would be in Tomorrowland. The square root of the quantity 1 minus cosine squared x, the product of the tangent, Melin. Sine of x? That is correct. I'll equal the basic trigonomic function. To Freud, this aspect of human personality controls aggression and other socially unacceptable impulses. Molly. The unconscious? That is incorrect. I'll finish for Ocean Lakes. Which ethical component of the personality provides moral standards by which the ego operates? Samuel. The id. It's actually the super ego. Oh. Some form when warm, moist air pushes over cold ground or water the process of advection. Some form at night due to radiative heat losses. What is the general term for these very low clouds? Molly, uh, Fatima. Fog. Fog is correct. What type of shape is formed by the intersection of a plane and a geometric solid? Samuel. Cross-section. Correct. What is another name for Florida's sea cow? Molly. A manatee. Correct. In the world of fashion, what do the letters D, K, and Y stand for? It's Donna Karen, New York. And that buzzer is the end of our game. While our judges double check the final score, here's a reminder of how to stay connected with us here at Battle of the Brains. Stay up to date with Battle of the Brains. Follow along as your favorite teams advance this season. Visit battleofthebrains.net to learn more. And follow the show on social at Battle of the Brains. As we continue round one in this current season of Battle of the Brains, join us next week as we welcome Princess Anne High School versus James River High School. And here's the final score for today's match, determining which of our teams will continue on in this season's competition and head off to round two. With a final score of 145 points, our team from Hermitage High School. Great job today by Blake, Fatima, Molly, and Sophie. Congratulations, our winners with a final score of 400 points, our team from Ocean Lakes High School. Congratulations to Austin, Kaushik, Malin, and Samuel. And we'll see you in the next round. I'm Cheryl Miller. Thank you for watching and playing along here on Battle of the Brains, and we'll see you back here next week. Great match, teams. Game over. Thank you for watching Battle of the Brains, presented by Virginia 529. Goodbye.